greatest things going on in wastewater treatment. That's why they need a lot of smart people, a lot of brains out there. Uh, there there's, there's a lot of room for a, a lot of thinking to go on. Uh, uh, the, ca the caffeine, it actually, it actually, I was reading this morning, they're using it in one place to tell if it's a septic tank leak or if it's, you know, just a side stream that's coming up into the creek or, or into a lake or something. And they can, they can just test for caffeine now. And the caffeine will show up. Best guess, it's human. So, so uh, a few years back, the state required all major, we're a major discharging wastewater plant. It means we put out a, one million gallons per day or more effluent. And so we're a major discharger. We, we were required to do Senate Bill 737, which required us to gather effluent samples. And they did everything, everything uh, from, from, from radioactive material to caffeine, everything. And, and they did it for all the treatment plants. They created a database, and now they're now they're working on that database to understand how how the treatment plants work, what they do discharge. Most plants pass every every piece of it. Caffeine was found in the discharges, and then there's another indicator of human waste that isn't. It, it, it's just like a DNA tracer that they that they can find in the water. Basically, that's what they found here, as they did in every other wastewater plant. They didn't find all the terrible things they thought they were going to find, like uh, they didn't find uh, what's what's the big drug all the they used to make out of the what's, uh, what's, what's meth. The, meth. They they find meth in, in influence of wastewater plants, but they don't find it in the effluent. So somehow the bacteria we have are taking care of it. I've been told that the UV systems we have, I didn't know this, but the UV systems actually have a tendency to break down a lot of bad uh, uh, additions to the wastewater, these things that come in, they, they tend to break them down. I didn't know that hmm. personally, but... Cause a chemical reaction then. Yeah, there, stuff goes on when you're wow. sitting in a tanning bed. So, what, are there, is there a common thread amongst caffeine and, you know, People drink it. I mean, of why it's persistent as opposed to other other things. I think because it's so high in volume, ah, and, and okay. it's, for some reason it doesn't get removed through the ah. system. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> we, there's a lot of other things that go into wastewater that are hard to remove: greases, fats, oils. Those are hard to remove. Bacteria don't necessarily readily want to break them down, so so we have to capture them and keep them in the treatment plant for longer. Uh, what else? Yeah. So more caffeine in the water. What does that do to the fish? It makes them fight harder. Hey, this one's really wired. <laughs> well, I can't tell you. <laughs> but what, what's the answer, right? Do, do you, does somebody devise a way of removing it at the wastewater plant? Or do they stop it? I don't even know how happen? reactive caffeine is. I mean, this is the first I'd ever heard of it. And, sure. But I'm going to do a little research on well, that. Certainly. And then other things like estrogen. And stuff yeah. Like that, you know. and, 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 and places where they have cattle fields, where they, where their uh, dairies and stuff, where they inject the cattle with a lot of hormones. Those hormones uh, get deposited on the fields. They get washed off the field and into your strain. It's just like a, a cycle of stewardship, you know, understanding, you know, whether it's whether it's you, you know, drinking a can and not having no it not having a deposit on it, so it's not worth anything, so it gets thrown people throw it out as opposed to taking it in and recycling it, you know, getting the, some money back for it. You know, these are all things in which we preserve the life of the product or steward the life of the product, I should say. And, you know, do we start do we start when you buy something, or do we start when you right. in something? So, so, yeah, some people say we're the ultimate recyclers because we'll, we'll take the food. You'll take the food. You'll your body will use the nutrients out of the food. Bottom here, we take it, we put it on, turn it into biosolids, we put it on a field. And it grows you, a crop. You, the cattle eat the crop. Someday you eat the cattle, <laughs> and someday. Uh huh. Yeah. Back to yeah. the cycle that never ends. <laughs> <laughs>